Good morning, beautiful people. It is a beautiful frosty day at my house and the perfect day to get in the Christmas spirit and decorate. I don't know if I've ever been in the spirit like this. It's been a really long time and I truly think it's because of how my decorations turned out in this area. I am just in love with how my decorations turned out this year. Today we'll be decorating in my kitchen. We'll be doing a hot cocoa bar, an adorable chair tray, and making my living room an extra magical place for this season. I also have tons of fun and simple DIY ideas. So stick around if you love all things Christmas decor, Christmas cheer, holiday magic. I promise this video will definitely not disappoint. So for this hot cocoa coffee bar area situation, I wanted to use some of my new favorite pieces that I picked up from Target and added some yummy things for the kids to use in their hot cocoa. Hi, I'm Rose, and I like to tie bows on just about everything this time of year. <laughs> so cute. Added some of my new favorite coffee. I am in love with that gingerbread coffee from Starbucks. It is so delicious. Added some marshmallow snowflake mug toppers, which is so fun. My favorite coffee mug that is cuter than than just about everyone with some fun things inside. The kids were so excited about this and just such a fun, cute thing to wake up to every morning. Lighting some of my favorite candles this morning. I always wish that you guys could smell the candles that I'm lighting and also hear the music I'm listening to. I just love cultivating a vibe over here, so let's just pretend. And you probably know by now that I love a tear tray for every season. This one was inspired by that cute mug from Joanna Parker with a little tree on her head. I love the soft colors, so just pulled some newer and older cups, just rearranged it. I pretty much rearranged things a million times, but you can't rush the Lord's work. You know what I mean? This is special work over here. <laughs> and knocking everything over, that's just a part of the process. I get asked a lot about how I arrange a tear tray and I basically just try to stick with a color scheme. I could do a whole video on this. I want to add a few more pieces, but I love how it turned out for now. Stay tuned for some more decorating cuteness. Added some fun little houses to my palm wreath, some ribbon to make it pop, and then later I added some tea lights that gives the kitchen the prettiest glow at night and just all the nostalgic vibes. I loved these kitchen towels. It is a running joke in our family that we really want a dog, but we want to wait to have time just to give it all the love and care. So for now, we have our kitchen towels and our pet fish. <laughs> Same thing, really. you guys saw my Christmas haul video, you got the treat of watching me tear up over this candle. It truly will shoot you back into a time when life was innocent and hopeful and magical before it all went to crap, you know? <laughs> That's what this candle will do. It is pure happiness. Also, the white fudge chocolate Oreos, they are seasonal. Anthony introduced them to me when we first started dating. And when I tell you that this whole jar is already gone, I'm not trying to be funny. Don't get them. They are sinful, but you know, tis the season. We have a visitor, <laughs> what a coincidence. Can't blame him though. Why do I love this kitchen rug so much? I am loving the peppermint red and white colors for this area in my house. I did a version of this soap for Halloween, but instead of spiders, used some faux peppermints, added a bow and some star ribbon. And then I added some simple table decor because this is where my kids and our whole family eat three times a day. So if you're a mom, we all know how that goes. I love how this area turned out a fun, fresh candy Christmas kitchen. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Rose. And I post a lot of different lifestyle content from motherhood to motivation, holiday magic. So I would love if you would subscribe. Let me know that you're here because there is a lot more magic to come. All right, you guys, kitchen is looking good. Got my Christmas planner. I had a to-do list and Anthony accidentally spilled 
cooked something or splashed something when he was doing the dishes and he felt bad and look what he did. He made me a little to-do list that looks exactly like it. We're getting it done. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone... Time for what might be my favorite area in my house watching the sweetest Christmas movie ever. If you guys haven't seen Noelle on Disney Channel, please, please watch it and think of me while you're bawling your eyes out. It is so sweet and just such a girl power moment. It is a top contender for Marley and my favorite Christmas movie of all time. This and the Santa Claus are quintessential Christmas movies for our family. I am making our family's holiday bucket list right now. So if you have a favorite Christmas movie or fun tradition, please share in the comments below so we could talk all things Christmas magic and spark all the Christmas spirit. I would love to know what you and your family love this time of year. And yes, I'm a little ashamed. The obsession continues. Once I love something, I tend to become a little extra and crazy, but you know, it's a it's an obsession that doesn't hurt anyone, right? I saw on Pinterest his star garland, so wanted to make it my own, just remove the stars and stuck it inside the branches of the wreath, added some fun ornaments and tool, and it'll be so fun to change these up for every season. I just love them. It's every time the snow is These vintage houses are from Anthropology. You can see right there, it says Anthropology on the house. I have wanted these for years. I love how vintage they look. My kids love it. They're like, it looks so old timey and fun. Just traditional Christmas. They're so sparkly and magical. some soft things to the mantle so it didn't look so harsh just cozy that little gnome is from Macy's and then I also picked up some little houses at Macy's while I was there the pastel I love it they I wanted a pink house um, those sparkle houses from anthropology I wanted a pink one but they were sold out so maybe next year and then another DIY coming in hot. I just painted those nutcrackers that I got at Michael's, I believe, maybe Hobby Lobby. I uh, just added some paint, some fun stars for a little touch of whimsy, and I love them. Finishing off this area with some little things we've had for a few years. Some things are passed down. My kids love leaving letters for Santa, so I checked to see if there were any in there from last year and definitely had a moment. There is nothing like reliving the magic in your child's eyes, but that was a little short-lived because I found one of my belly button rings that they put in there. Were they offering me as a sacrifice? I don't think I even want to know at this point. The crazy never ends. I love how this area turned out. It just feels so girly and festive, and I just love the excuse to use all things sparkly, but I also have some traditional pieces, so we absolutely love it. I hope you do too. Giving the tree a little bit of a stuffing because we are going to finish it off tomorrow as a family, just having a cozy night in and enjoying this time together. The chef straight out of the box. How much do you guys want to bet that these are going to be gone in the morning? Mm. 
Good morning. The decorating continues. It was so nice to wake up before the kids and just sit by the tree and drink my coffee. There's nothing like it. Peep the cookies. What did I tell you guys? They're so good. Picked up a few things for a DIY you will see in a bit. Some family ornaments for decorating the tree you will see later in this video. It's my lucky day. Got a free Nutcracker advent calendar that matches my decor. I was inspired by my calm morning and wanted to calm the crazy of gift wrapping. So got this bucket at Target to store all the things, gift wrapping, just to have it all in one place and not scattered everywhere. My office definitely becomes a Mrs. Claus type workshop. Do you guys enjoy gift wrapping? I have come to love it. My office has a really calm energy and I just pop in a movie and find it really therapeutic therapeutic. Christmas just makes everything more fun. My couch really looks like a Wondershop Target ad. <laughs> Don't worry, I am not cool enough to be sponsored, so you can trust me. I'm just addicted. Some are from last year, some are from this year. I almost died when I saw this iridescent tree candle at Anthropology. It is just gorgeous. Also picked up the new Christmas journal by Candace Cameron, such a wonderful role model. And I just can't wait to sit in this cozy room and reflect over the year and remember the reason for the season. All right, this is it. The DIY of all DIYs in my opinion. My kids love advent calendars, so I wanted to make a special one that we can have for years to come and they can be surprised by what's inside all the gingerbread houses every day. It turns out very grand, but it really is simple. Just use some garland. I ordered those boxes on Etsy, um, but they have them on Amazon, which I will link below if you wanna make this. Just added some clothesline pins to the top and then just string it with some fishing line and hang anywhere for a crowd-pleasing showstopper. We can do this, anyone can do this. So after seeing what the advent calendar looked like on the wall, I wanted to add a little bit more pizzazz to it. I honestly probably would have used smaller ornaments. This is really, really simple. You just string the ornaments on a wire, tie off the ends. It was very large, so brought in the big guns for some help. Wouldn't change the name of your channel to It's Anthony Lewis. <laughs> Added some palms and then added some tool just to give it a whimsical look. It reminded me of the house in the movie Up. It is so cute and the kids love it. Go outside, the snow is falling. Down. I ended up decorating my son's room off camera. I just had fun with my daughter. She really wanted to help and she was so excited about seeing her little brother be surprised by his new Christmas room. I just love seeing his face and his joy. I love the traditional colors, especially because we have a lot of pink in our home. He was so excited and it just made my mom heart so happy. We're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. All I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, so Alright, time to decorate the tree these are our family ornaments for the year. Mine is in pink and red. Isn't that perfect with the rose gold? They say the year on the bottom. Got an A for Anthony, M for Marley, P for little Piercy, little Piercy pie. And Pearson picked this one out for me. Cheers. So it's time to decorate the tree using my anthropology ornaments. You already know we got the Elvis ornament. If you've been around here, you know my love for Elvis, my newfound love after the movie. We had so much fun and there was so much anticipation this night because our elf buddy was coming. This is his fifth year coming to our house and we just have so much fun with him and the kids just love him. So I will be sharing all of his mischief 
and all the things he's up to in future videos. Everything turned out. I hope you enjoy. I hope you're having an amazing time celebrating this season and I will see you in the next one. Santa's gonna come and join us in this song hey.